Hi, I'm a gamer's wife here with practical and proven tips for busy equests like you. And I don't know about you, but owning clown loaches is definitely on my bucket list. Ah, uh, yes, they get huge. I know, I know. But everyone says they're like playful puppies with these interesting behavioral quirks. The problem is, whenever I research species on Google, it always gives me really high level information. So, I want to talk to an actual longtime owner of cloud loaches to get the insider scoop on what it's really like to keep them. Now I'm new to Colin Barsby's channel, but when I saw those four-year-old clown loaches of his in a lushly planted aquarium, I knew I had to talk to him. So Colin, give us the truth here. Here's a list of basic care requirements I found on Google. So tell me, which ones do you agree with or disagree with? Hi everyone, Colin here, and a great thank you to A Gamer's Wife for inviting me on to this special segment called Top Things Only Clown Loach Owners Know. Now, to answer your list of questions about clown loaches, watch their maximum size. Whilst they in the wild, uh, they will grow to over a foot 12 inches in length. In captivity, that's rarely going to happen. Um, a lot of that's through the diet the fish have. You'll notice they've got these little barbels at the tip of their snout. And in the wild, they eat an enormous amount of live invertebrates. And these are uh, water insects, worms, um, meaty foods they naturally eat, gives them the ability to grow to large sizes. In an aquarium, they get fed a variety of uh, pallet foods, flake foods, sinking foods, fresh, frozen foods. Um, but very often the amount of protein they're getting in the way of meaty foods is a lot less and their growth is less as a result. Um, the amount of water required for a clown loach to live a full life, they really probably should be in tanks of 30, 40 gallons and larger. Um, but of course with a housekeeping routine where any aquarium is kept uh, fresh and healthy, well filtered, well water changed. Um, the water quality can be kept sufficient for clown loaches quite easily in a whole range of tank sizes. The lifespan of clown loaches easily is 10, 15 years. So you will have your clown loaches a long time and that is well worth it. With the behaviours that are really interesting um, it's best to keep clown loaches, yes, in a, a group. That group can be as small as three or four. And they will have interesting displays of dominance. Now it's hard to know males from females, so it could be males sparring, um, who knows? Could be courtship displays, but they are not a fish that has been spawned in captivity that we're aware of. But these displays are fascinating to watch. They can last for 10, 15 minutes. And uh, the stripes fade to this light gray. And the, they're equipped with very sharp teeth and very sharp spines behind the gill covers. If they wanted to damage, they could, but they don't. So they're very peaceful. A behavior which they're famous for is playing dead. Now, if you have a clown loach, expect to get a phone call because you are going to be told that your fish is stuck, wedged at a funny angle, hasn't moved for a long time, and someone thinks they're dead. And when you investigate it, you'll find they swim off quite happily and they're quite okay. So they are a fish that love to wedge themselves in all manner of different angles and positions and often look like they're dead but they are perfectly okay. So, uh, clown loaches, that's a weird behavior. Um, they've got personality. They will, in fact, come up and be hand-fed. If you want to hold food at the top of the tank, they'll come, they'll eat out of your hand. They are just glorious, gorgeous fish to have. The fact they can be kept with super large cichlids, South American cichlids over a foot in size, big, big fish. They can be kept with African cichlids, very aggressive and they will hold their own, not be swallowed, and they'll mix in. They can mix into a tank with very fast schooling fish like tiger barbs. Tiger barbs might nip the fins of other fish and cause a nuisance, but clown loaches will fit in with tiger barbs quite easily, quite happily. They're fast enough 
to be with fast fish, they're gentle enough to be with slow fish, they can be with big, big cichlids, they can be with little tiny tetras. So the range of fish that they can be kept with to me is one of their special uh, joys. Um, they can be in so many tanks so easily if you want to have them in there. And yes, you're right, clam loaches do have the one thing to be careful about regarding temperature. They don't have scales, so they are susceptible to getting white spot ick parasites. And if ever the water gets a bit cool, that will generally bring on white spot attacks. So just keep the temperature a bit warmer for clown loaches. So 26 degrees Celsius um, is a minimum and they will be fine. And as you do water changes, remember to preheat the water so the water going in is as warm as the tank water that's already there. But apart from that, there is no other negatives to be aware of with keeping clown loaches. Thanks for sharing your personal experiences with us, Colin. So let's get really behind the scenes now with clown loaches. What are some things that only longtime clown loach owners would know? I think I like clown loaches for a whole lot of different reasons. And one of them is that, for example, you don't see them all the time. So I can have my aquarium with lots of other things happening and going on. And you don't even know that clown loaches are a part of the environment, which means you can look at many other things in your aquarium before the clown loaches show themselves. And one of the things I love about clown loaches is that they do so well with even small fish like tetras. And to have tetras in a tank with the behaviours of these two pencil fish that you see here, um, a courtship display, it's just wonderful to have so many different parts of an aquarium that day to day you can look at different things at different times and get different pleasures. And I love that clown loaches can be kept with live plants and the range of live plants you can keep is vast. And the clown loaches are an omnivore. They do like some vegetable in their diet and you will need to feed them some vegetable foods to prevent them nibbling on some of your favorite plants. But given a varied diet of some protein foods, fresh foods, frozen foods, and some veggie, your clown loaches will leave most of your plants totally alone and you can have a wonderful planted tank and enjoy it. And of course the reason I like clown loaches in particular is that they are a larger growing, super colourful fish, um, beautiful colours, they're active when they're out and at the same time their behaviours range from every type of swimming motion and behaviour, they're just not a boring fish. They don't just swim from side to side, front to back, side to side. They move in all manner of different interesting ways. They can go backwards, they can go forwards. They'll move across the bottom of your tank, they'll go to the top of your tank. They'll move all around the levels of your tank, every part of your tank. They'll stop and they'll sit, they'll go for a swim, they just have all this range of movement I love to watch. Wow, really loved hearing about their cool behaviors. For example, I had no idea they could be kept with relatively small fish like tetras. So, given all the pros and cons, would you recommend the clown loach? Um, I will not get bored with these fish. I will definitely keep them their entire life. And probably when I lose a clown loach, I will always probably replace that clown loach. They're just a pleasure to have in any tank. All in all, my full recommendation to everyone is to think seriously about having a clown loach in your aquarium, uh, two or three. And I hope that everyone has seen just how interesting and how many positives there are with keeping clown loaches in an aquarium. Thanks so much for having me on today. Aw, oh, thanks so much for sharing this awesome species with us, Colin. If you want to see the collaboration video I did on his channel, check it out over here and subscribe to join his community. Take time to enjoy your aquariums, and I'll see you in the next video.